I just bought this Seiko wristwatch at the thrift store for three bucks. The question is, how well did we do? From inside the bag, we can see the back is made of stainless. I can't really wind it through the plastic. Let's open this thing up and see what we got. Now we can see it. On the band, it says Seiko Japan. We're able to open it up. As I try to wind it, it's wound all the way to the top. If we give it a shake, we don't hear any ticking. We'll pull the back off and take a look and see what's inside. Well, it's a beautiful movement in there. If you look at the balanced wheel in here, even though I couldn't hear it ticking, it's moving, it's working. So that's a good sign. So we have a working watch. The acrylic crystal is in pretty clean shape. Here's a close-up view of the movement, 17 joule. Here's the serial number so we can look it up. After looking at the numbers on the back, this was made in December of 1971. I got this information by looking up on RetroSeiko.com. Here's the model number. And this number 11 right here, that's the movement number. I'll scrub up half the band to see how clean everything is. I'd be gets. amazed at how much tarnish this toothpaste takes off. You can see the bottom half is a lot cleaner. You can see it's really starting to clean up nice. This is the part of the band that we've cleaned, and this is the part that we haven't. So we'll go ahead and clean up the rest of the watch. We'll make sure we get all the grime out, including in the chain. That really sparkles now. We don't want to get any water near this movement. And because it's running so nice, you don't want to put oil on it because if you get too much oil on this, it'll stop the watch. If the watch is running, you want to make sure you don't put any oil on it because if you get too much oil on this watch, it'll stop it as well. To properly service this movement, each one of these bridges would need to be removed, it would need to be cleaned, and with a pin, you would put oil into each one of those points. Here's a close-up look at the face. Here's a stainless steel back all cleaned up. On eBay, I saw similar watches going for about 100 bucks. It's just kind of fun to see what you can find at the thrift store.